The Ladybird Lake Paddling Trail in downtown Austin is the newest addition to the Texas Paddling Trail Network. Paddlers can row their way to local attractions like Barton Springs Pool and the Congress Avenue Baths. One, two, three. Texas Parks and Wildlife is partnering with communities across the state to provide well-mapped public paddling trails for all levels of paddlers. We have 200,000 miles of rivers and creeks and streams and seven spectacular bay systems. And these are public waterways that we need to provide access, we need to steward, and we need to take care of. There are currently 18 paddling trails in Texas with more on the way. From Galveston to Arlington, paddlers can choose whichever trail, well, floats their boat. <laughs> Meanwhile, back in Austin, some local kids are getting ready to hit the water. What's the main safety rule in the canoe? Everybody, don't stand up. For some of these kids, it's their first time in a canoe. You start crying? No. You start laughing? No. no. Yes, yeah. you do. No. You laugh, you have fun, and you're wet, you're having a good time. We've been taking kids on the river for uh, about 17 years now, and you can see it in their face. It's made an impact. They are different. They see the river differently at that point, they see their city differently, and they see themselves differently. And I think this is very healthy for all of us. Of course, this being Austin, there was live music on hand to celebrate the paddling trail. It's magical when you're afloat. Get on board and float your boat. For Texas Parks and Wildlife, this is Lydia Saldana.